elegant and stunning marble effect acrylic pour painting i love how soft and elegant this piece look it definitely looks like a real marble wouldn't you guys think and just to know that this was created by simply pouring paint in a cup and then flipping that cup onto the canvas so i use the flip cup technique to create this beautiful marble effect i'm so in love with the abstract art you guys and acrylic pour is just the way to go it is such an amazing technique i do hope you guys check out this video all the way to the end and i'll see you guys you're gonna love it hello everyone it's camille welcome back to my channel thank you so much for being here are you guys all ready for another painting tutorial i'm doing a marble effect painting and this is my best to date i honestly think this is my best to date and i'm loving it i'm using a 14 inch cup and i'm working on a 18 by 24 inch gala wrap canvas the paints i'm using will of course be listed in the description box below and as you guys were noticing i just simply pour the, the colors in i started off with the white um there's no specific way of layering it you know i just was just going dirty you know that's why they call it dirty pour i was just dumping the paint in the cup and um, it created the effect i was really hoping for you know so i did just dump the colors in and then i just simple you know softly layer it on top and if you guys notice i'm using the same colors i'm just pouring you know i'm just pouring it differently okay so just to avoid it sinking um if you don't want it to sink in the cup you can just lightly um you know pour it along the edge or you can just if you want to sink you dump it into the cup okay so i was just playing around with this one you know dumping it layering it softly sliding it along the side i was just you know having fun because i like to experiment and i want to you know get something different and i i just don't know where it's gonna take me so like i said this is what the experiment is all about you just don't know where it's gonna take you right because i've done i've used these colors already in previous videos and um you know it didn't give me the same effects so i'm really happy with this and um you know guys i'm using the paints i'm using i have of course i said i will be listing that in the description box below but if you guys know anything about the folk art paint i'm telling you i don't know what's in it especially the white and the gold i don't know it, it gives me like a reaction as if it's satin enamel i'm not you know what i mean i'm not too sure if it's in that paint if it's in the folk art paint but i do love using it the white and the gold especially and uh you know it really gives me great great result knowing that there was no satin enamel in this and yet still i got like cloud like effect i love how you know you could see the under layers of the different colors you know and it's it's what i was really hoping for just like when you're looking at a marble and you see those veins and how the colors definitely overlay each other it's just amazing that's what i was going for and i think i nailed it and i think i have to really give credit to this brand the folk art brand so i guess i'm giving a, a product review <laughs> as well but i'm telling you guys you never know what you're gonna get whenever you you know do a, a, a fluid art acrylic pouring painting you never know what the result's gonna be right and as you guys can see when i dump the paint i also drag it so uh, this is like a dump and swirl kind of a thing and so i'm just um, swirling it into the puddle as you guys can see right um it's this is not my technique i, I watch other artists how they've done it so i'm just really really happy to really be learning learning from someone else learning from other artists 
and then taking my spin on it using different products and sharing it with you you know this is what the joy is all about this is what um, gives me that joy to be able to learn from someone make it my own and then sharing it with you guys so I do hope you guys really enjoy and as you can see I'm torching and torching really helps to pop the air bubbles and really bring those colors alive so I do hope you guys really enjoy today's acrylic pour painting you know doing the dirty pour the flip cup all of that and of course um, stick around to the end I will show you the dried result um, it's resin and yeah it's just beautiful guys and you know just check it out all the way to the end and I do hope you love it if you do give this video a thumbs up and of course share with your friends and family there are various ways I've seen other artists do the marbling um, on a canvas and I find that a lot of artists don't want the paint to roll over each other so what they do they will you know surround the colors with like a solid base color like let's say a white so the, the colors aren't rolling over each other when they stretch it but for this particular technique that I'm doing right now the marbling in this acrylic pour I want the colors to actually roll over each other because when it rolls over each other it definitely create the effect that I wanted do you remember when I said to you guys that it gives you that you know that undertone you can see like the gold on top of the white or you can see the grays on top of the black it just creates the, spe the special effects of you know when the colors overlay each other and I do love it and you know to know that there was no silicone oil used in this and no satin enamel used in this as well and you know it's just a perfect blend it creates a beautiful effect wouldn't you guys agree and I'm so happy with the design I'm so happy right now you know I'm really stretching it guys like this is one of the thing I do love with the marbling is that you really stretch just try and stretch it as best as you can across the canvas and you guys will see that I'm stretching as much and you will know when the paint is really thin on that canvas like right now I'm not really seeing much movement so I actually had to go you know um, get some paints that I had left over and scrape the drippings that you can see and, and I use this is this is a 24 by 18 inch canvas and I use 14 ounces of paint and it was just enough this is a deep edge canvas as well and the paint my acrylic paint in the cup you know really covers the canvas and so I went and scraped the drippings. I had some leftovers that I just, you know, uh, put in the cup. And yeah, so I'm just using it right now to um, fill in those areas. And then I'm going to stretch it some more. And of course, guys, it's very important that you um, clean the side of your canvas, the edges, because you don't really want it to pull the design too much. But like I said, guys, this is actually stretch to the T <laughs> and I'm so happy because you know I don't have any um, paint puddling or pooling on this canvas and it's very important too before you actually start painting one of the very important step is to make sure your canvas is level all right and one of the best way to do that too guys is just to um, you know dump the back of your canvas you know until you get it really tight all right so I did do that I know I don't really show all that step before painting and this is also what I'm saying a lot of people don't realize that um, it's a process you know we have to prepare the canvas prepare the paint and then do the painting it all adds up and then at the end of the day you have to wait till the painting is dry and cured and then you add your resin if that's what you want to put on it your finish okay resin or varnish the canvas has to be dried so these are just some of the steps I want to share with you guys while I'm, I know I said I was a, I was gonna see you guys for the close-up but you know I'm so happy that I stick around and share with you just some tips that will help you if you do decide to um, try this marbling on your own and of course this is a heavy canvas I have in my hand right now it's not a big canvas but it's heavy because it's um it's a deep edge 
you guys honestly cannot tell you how my arms were just tired i it it requires a lot of patience when you, when you're doing this too okay and you really want to stretch it to the t and like i said this canvas it's it was it's only 18 by 24 inch but it's a gallery wrap and it's heavy duty right so it has a deep edge and um you just want to get just cover the canvas as best as you can and uh, make sure that you know just be be patient this is the thing with the fluid art all right and this is the thing with most of the technique in the fluid art you want to just take your time and be patient all right um it will come and i just love it um you know on my channel i do various techniques as you guys can see and i'm just sharing with you so you guys don't get too bored <laughs> but i find for myself that it's just practice and it's just patience and i just want you guys to develop that as well just be patient with yourself i am being patient with myself because there's so much that i want to learn and there's so much more that i want to do and there's just so much more that i want to share with you but until i do get to that comfort level but like i said it's just patience and practice right so i'm just sharing with you as i grow and as i go um you know my experience with you guys and, I, and like i said this is my best to date marbling painting i just love it i love everything about it i love how soft it looks I love how the colors blend. I love the white in it. I just love how soft it looks and clean. I love how, you know, pronounced that black vein is that one solid line that goes. I'm like, yes, I got it. The black didn't mix too much with the with the, um, with the white creating grays. I got that one line. And imagine I dump all the colors in the cup and yet I got that one single black line yes i am happy that's an ac um, accomplishment i'm really happy and i'm happy even with the goal like you can do see some areas where the goal is solid and some areas where the goal is actually you know blending with the with the white and with the grays with the silver and so it's muted in some areas and i'm loving it because that's the effect that's that's the effect of the colors overlaying each other and i'm happy that's what I wanted and it actually turned out amazing so guys don't be afraid to get up and try the, the flip cup it's one of the easiest techniques out there you just pouring paint in the cup mixing your colors know which color um, to mix together that won't give you mud but I'm loving it check out this close-up you guys isn't this amazing I'm telling you really amazing knowing that there was no silicone oil in this and it's just simple it took me like maybe 20 minutes just to do this one piece but i just wanted to show you the really amazing effect you know from the close-up you guys can check it out how beautiful it is those soft lines those gray areas it's so sophisticated it's so elegant and i'm loving it what do you guys have to say leave me a comment in the comment section below And of course here it is all dried 
I decided to just do it a little bit different this time. I'm layer, I laid it flat on my dining room table. I wanted to show you the depth in the edges and I wanted to show you how clean it looked and how the paint flows over like a waterfall effect and it's just amazing you know like when you're looking at a countertop I wanted to lay the canvas flat on my table to give you guys that you know um, marble countertop effect and I'm so pleased I do love it I do love the way it dry and I do love how the resin the epoxy resin you know brings the colors out as if it was wet as if it still is wet you know so it's just amazing uh, the colors remain just as vibrant and soft at the same time but elegant and you can see the shimmer in the gold and like remember when I was talking about the overlayers of colors this is it right here guys the effect you know it's muted and, and just amazing no silicone oil and no set NML used in this paints are just amazing I use folk art brands and great result from that paint I'm so happy really really happy solid lines in some areas and then the amazing area where you see the solid black beautiful try the flip cup guys let me know what you think about this one and of course this technique can be done on a countertop a table you know the flip cup marbling you know this is an amazing technique that you can do it yourself so this is like a DIY sort of a project that you guys can do at home and you can use it to you know put on your countertop like I said guys or on a table your vanity whatever it is and just be creative make your home just as beautiful and yeah this is just an amazing piece to bring out a statement in any home i do hope you guys enjoy the video give this one a thumbs up check out my playlist and i will see you guys next time on camila moy art bye